It's great. He wants me to do it Concentrate again. a little bit, will you? Come on, Wendell. I like that. The NCAA Cross Country Championships will be held Saturday in Terre Haute, Indiana, and the Big 12 will be well represented. Texas and Oklahoma State's men's teams will be competing, and the Cowboys are seeking back-to-back -back national titles and their fourth national championship in the last five years. Iowa State and West Virginia are sending their women's teams. The Cyclones are ranked seventh nationally and have won four consecutive regional titles. Also, six individuals qualified, two of which are the Big 12 champions, Mariel Hall of Texas and Kennedy Kithika of Texas Tech. Kithika, the defending NCAA men's champion, is a heavy favorite to defend his title. He has won every race this year, and his average margin of victory is an astonishing 36 seconds. The four remaining Big 12 individual runners are Monica Yodiskata of Oklahoma State, Rachel Johnson of Baylor, Muhammad Rezi of Iowa State, and Reed Buchanan of Kansas. The Big 12 continues to make waves nationally in men's basketball with non-conference success. Iowa State, coming off its victory over number 7 Michigan Sunday, went on the road and knocked off BYU 90-88 Wednesday night. The Cyclones had four players in double figures with Melvin Edgem and DeAndre Kane each scoring 21. It was just BYU's 11th loss at home over the last eight years. Also Thursday night, number 20 Baylor improved to 4-0 with a 69-64 victory over Charleston Southern. In volleyball, number 22 Kansas knocked off number 24 Iowa State in four sets Wednesday night. It was KU's first victory in Ames since 2004. With two matches remaining, Kansas has a chance to finish second in the Big 12 for the first time in school history after moving past Iowa State in the standings last night. And Texas can clinch a share of the regular season title in volleyball tonight when the Longhorns play host to West Virginia. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Wendell Barnhouse.